What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Life in Louisville. I'm Katie. Today, we're talking about the weather in Louisville, Kentucky, so let's jump right in. The way I like to explain the weather in Louisville is that it changes its mind. That's how I've always told my kids, but it's true. One day it might be snowing and the next day it might be sunny and 70 degrees. So Louisville tends to have a lot of fluctuating weather patterns and temperatures, and you can expect the weather to change its mind a lot in Louisville. According to meteorologists, we're considered a subtropical humid climate zone. Now that doesn't mean it feels humid and hot all the time. We actually do have four distinct seasons, which is one of the things I love about the weather in Louisville. I like to see the changing seasons. I love fall, winter, spring, summer, and to have that cycle and rhythm in my year. The most comfortable months temperature wise in Louisville tend to be May, September, and October. We have temperatures ranging from an average of 28 degrees all the way up to 88 degrees. We don't tend to see too many temperatures below 12 degrees, so it doesn't get too terribly cold here in the winter. We also don't tend to see a lot of temperatures above 94 degrees in the summer, so it is more of a mild. We don't tend to get the extremes. However, I will tell you, as of the filming of this video in June 2022, we are experiencing a major heat wave right now. We're up over 100 degrees, so it can definitely get hotter here. And I will say with the humidity, it tends to make that temperature in the upper 80s feel a little bit hotter as well. According to a tourism score, the best times to visit Louisville if you're wanting to do some warmer weather activities are June, August, and September. So you'll definitely want to keep that in mind if you're planning a visit. On average, there are 195 sunny days during the year. The US average is 205, so we're not too far off from that national average, but I'll say we do have quite a bit of cloud cover in the winter time, but we have plenty of sunny days to enjoy throughout the year as well. Let's talk about summer in Louisville. The summer season tends to last for about 3.8 months. It goes from the end of May till about mid-September. The average daily temperature during that time frame is 79 degrees. Our hottest month of the year is definitely July. The month of July tends to see an average high of 87 degrees and an average low of 70 degrees. But like I said, we have a relatively high humidity here in Louisville, so that 87 degrees can feel pretty hot. Let's talk about the winter. It is cold, wet, and sometimes snowy in Louisville during the winter. Our winter season tends to start at about the end of November and goes through the end of February, with January being our coldest month. The average daily temperature during that time frame is 52 degrees Fahrenheit, although it's quite a bit colder in the month of January. In January, the average high is 43 degrees and the average low sits right at 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's talk about the snow in wintertime. The US average for snow is 28 inches per year. Louisville is quite a bit lower than that at 13 inches per year. And so some of you might be thinking that's great. Typically we have a couple of pretty heavy snowfalls. My kids typically get to go sledding about one to two times during the winter months. I think that's a great amount of snow, but if you're from anywhere north of here and you're used to seeing snow all winter long, that's definitely not gonna be the case in Louisville. However, when the snow does come, Louisvillians tend to freak out a little bit. So if you're from further north in here, Indianapolis, Columbus, Ohio, or further north, you are gonna think that the reaction to the snow that we do have in Louisville is a little bit crazy. People are gonna head to the store the day before the storm, make sure to stock up on bread and all their essential supplies and milk. And then because we don't have snow very frequently, we just are not set up as a city to handle the snow when it does come. So we don't have as many road crews and salt trucks and all of those things to keep the city operating. The school system is a large countywide school system with a pretty robust busing system. So the school system definitely gets shut down for snow. A lot of places of employment will also get closed as well. So people tend to stay home for those snowy days in Louisville. And if you're used to living with the snow all winter long, you're gonna think it's a major overreaction but you'll get used to that once you're here. Let's talk about what I like to call the wet season, which is the end of winter and spring. 
The U.S. average rainfall average is right at 38 inches per year, where Louisville is at 46 inches per year. So we do have more rainfall than most places in the U.S. I like this fact because it makes our spring absolutely gorgeous with all the beautiful green trees. I recently had a friend visiting here in the month of May and he commented that my neighborhood was just so green. I live in Audubon Park. We have a lot of mature trees here and just the neighborhood just glows green. It's such a beautiful time in the springtime and it's a result as all of that rainfall that we have. Now, a couple of years ago, we did have above average rainfalls. In 2018, we actually had 68 inches of rainfall. That was definitely above our average. As a result of that, we tend to have some flash flooding. So that's something we'll talk about a little later with natural disasters, but just know that our rainfall tends to be heavy and hard, and you'll need to keep that in mind when you're living in Louisville. Okay, let's talk about natural disasters. We don't have a huge risk of earthquakes here, although we do tend to have a little small tremors. We can have that from time to time. So keep that in mind. We could have a larger earthquake at some point, but historically this hasn't really been a problem for us here in Louisville. Another major natural disaster that we have to contend with is flooding. Like I said, we tend to get a pretty good amount of rainfall here in Louisville, and we have a 29-year-old levee system, the walls and the pumps, and all of the parts of that around the Ohio River are starting to age quite a bit. And so as a result of that, they're not performing the way maybe that they should. We also have quite a lot of low lying areas and plains and fields around the Ohio River. And so because of that, we can definitely get some flooding. Sometimes the flooding happens over the course of several days when we have a full week of rainfall, but it can happen just in the matter of minutes and even hours where we have a lot of flash flooding. So as a result of that, some of the roadways can get blocked. And also if you're a homeowner in Louisville and you own an older home, I would definitely recommend getting your basement waterproofed. We tend to have a lot of water in basements here in Louisville. I would also recommend that you make sure to check out whether or not you're in a flood zone before you buy a house. I'm happy to help you with that if you have any questions about that, but you will be paying an additional flood insurance for those homes that are in the flood zone. So make sure to keep that in mind when purchasing a house here in Louisville. Once the flooding occurs because of the way our geography and topography is, it takes a long time for those waters to recede. So it's not uncommon for your backyard to turn into a little duck pond out there and it could take several days for that water to recede away. The most pervasive and dangerous natural disaster that we have in Kentucky and in Louisville is tornadoes. Historically, we have actually seen tornadoes in every month of the year, but they are definitely pose the most threat in spring and summer. Last year in 2021, we had 63 tornadoes throughout the state. Actually, just this spring in 2022, we had several tornadoes come through and caused a lot of damage down in our Fern Creek neighborhood of Louisville. The city has a comprehensive disaster plan, so they definitely have those tornado sirens going and they're watching out for the welfare of their citizens. Like I said, the weather in Louisville tends to change his mind, but it's a great place to live. We have beautiful seasons, all four seasons here, and I think you'll really enjoy it once you get here. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you're interested in more information about what life in Louisville is, be sure to subscribe to my channel and never hesitate to reach out. I'm happy to help answer any questions you want to know about Louisville, Kentucky. And if you're looking for a home, I'm happy to help with that as well. Thanks so much for watching.